What's up today, my people? Thank you for checking out another video. I really appreciate it. Listen, I want to remind you of something today. Listen, if the devil can steal your joy, he already got your goods. All right? If the devil can steal your joy, he's got your goods. The Bible says that the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy. So what does that mean? That means that the Bible is giving you the recipe. The Bible is giving you the recipe of how the devil is coming at you. You know, you don't just read that scripture and throw your Bible away. I mean, throw your Bible in the back seat and drop. No, you, you calm down. You read that scripture and you say, huh? Hmm. That's how he coming. He coming. Okay. Still kill. Hold up. Still kill. Destroy. Okay. So he come in one of three ways. Let me see. Still. Did he steal anything? In other words, you, you do like Joshua 1.8 say. You meditate on this word day and night. So since the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy... As a matter of fact, write them three things somewhere in your house or your apartment. That way you look at them. You, you know how he's coming every day. Because, see, when you know how somebody's coming at you, you can plan for it. You know, you, in other words, you, you can plan to defeat. If somebody down the street said, hey, man, look, they got a burglar. You know, they got a burglar running around here. And he don't have a real, he don't have any real knives. He just got a butter knife. He like to pop people windows open with a butter knife. All right. So, so listen, if you know that the butter knife thief, if you know he's coming to your home, guess what you're going to do? You're going to make sure you put something on your windows that's butter knife proof. That's the butter knife guy. Look, he can't get in my window. Look at him. He's banging on my window and stuff because you prepared your window for him. So since the thief comes to steal, kill, and destroy, guess what? You, you prepare yourself with God's, you get God's word in you. That way the devil can't catch you while you're weak. If the devil can steal your joy, he's got you good. Some people think, you know, okay, the devil comes to steal, kill, and destroy. You know, let me let me go hide my big screen TV. Oh, I got some two hundred dollars shoes. Let me go hide them. The devil, the, you know, the, de Man, the devil not worried about your shoes. He ain't worried about your socks. He not worried about your TV. The devil not. The devil wants your joy because if he could take your joy and have you walking around uh, sad, it's just enough. You know, you get to work. Uh, Three, three and a half more days till Friday. If the devil can get you to do that, he don't want the battle because you are not beneficial to anybody that you come in contact with. And God wants you to be, a, the Bible says you ought to be a light. Meaning don't hide your light under the table. You hold your light up for others so that uh, they can come to Christ through you. In other words, fishing for souls, right? So, if the devil can take your joy, man, look, he got you. I'm telling, I'm telling you he got you. The devil sit back there. Fold his arms and be like, look at my boy. Look at my boy. He ain't going to get nothing accomplished today. Look at my boy. Look at my boy. He said, oh, he about to go home and take a nap. Yeah, look at him. Look at him. He miserable. Ooh, he miserable. Nah, 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 nah. I'm going to leave him alone. I ain't going to do nothing else to him. He defeated for the day. All right? So don't let the devil talk about you like that. And I want to encourage you to stay in God's word and realize this. You already got the devil beat. All right, you already got the devil beat. As long as you stay in God's word, focus on applying the word, you're going to be good to go. All right, don't let the devil take your joy. Because if you take your, I don't know why I'm pointing in my head. Why was I pointing in my brain? I don't know. Don't let the devil steal your joy. Ain't going to be none of that. Not today. Not from you. Not your joy. All right, you, you need your joy today, all right, in order to be effective and to do what God wants. Hey, God may have a plan for you to, to, to talk to somebody in Walmart on aisle number four that's getting a jar of pickles, all right? But if you walking around, oh, man, what? ain't nobody trying to hear what you got to say about the Lord. Because they're looking at your demeanor. They're like, well, if you talking to me about God and you dragging around, why do I need him? I'm a little happier than you, right? But you got to get in the Word and let it quicken you. Quicken you. I like doing that. Quicken you. Quicken you. Quicken you. All right, that's enough. That's enough. That's enough. But look, thank you for checking out the video. I love you. I appreciate your support. As always, don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Daily videos coming every single morning at 5 o'clock a.m. So that means whenever you wake up, man, all you got to do, you know, is, is, is get on YouTube, go to my channel, and I'm going to have a video waiting on you, a fresh video waiting on you. I love you. Thank you for your support. I appreciate you more than you know.